PR Evil Forum at Kent State University in the PR Theory class. Here's the agenda for today. I will begin by uh, sharing with you some comments from people uh, that I gathered, and then we'll have a bit of a discussion if that generates some discussion. Then we will move in part two to my discussion of whether PR is, is or is not evil, and then we will have some rebuttal from John and Nina, and we'll see what kind of uh, discussion that generates in the class. I asked people that I could round up from different parts of the world. I was only able to get uh, people from, I got you know, a friend from Europe to, to weigh in on whether PR is evil or not, and some others, some former students who are now working in the field, um, and Abigail, one of the uh, audience members who's, who's there now. One of the best quotes that I got was from Heather Yaxley, who is, uh, among other things, a PhD student uh, in the United Kingdom. She's also General Secretary of the Motor Industry Public Affairs Association, and for some people she's most famous as a blogger. She runs a, a blog called Green Banana, so it's one that you should all be uh, looking for and looking at. She's incredibly bright. So, she's very direct too. This is from Heather. Simply, PR is not evil. It's a function or skill set that can be put to many uses. Some of those may be unethical or for more morally dubious purposes. However, PR has the potential to be used ethically and to achieve good purposes. If evil means, quote, profoundly immoral and malevolent, with profoundly meaning far-reaching, absolute, or beyond what is obvious, then PR would not fulfill this claim. PR can be used for malevolent purposes, such as having a harmful influence. However, incidents of such are no more common in the overall practice than for any other discipline which can also cause harm on occasion. I do not believe PR is inherently immoral either, although those who practice it can be unscrupulous or unethical. A recent study in the UK claimed that one-third of PR practitioners had had sex after a work Christmas party, the most of any pr profession, apparently. Apart from the dubious nature of such a survey, conducted on behalf of restaurant chain TGI Friday, this doesn't mean people, PR people are even without uh, sexual morals. So, that's from Heather. I like that quote. It's funny, and it's direct, and uh, it leads us to... Uh, the discussion of whether or not PR is evil.